We're dying. Why are we freaking out about fucking YouTube short numbers? Let's go to the let's go to the fucking Denver mountains and yeah. see if I'm gay or not. <laughs> 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 Oh, we're in? We're in. You want what to start there? What the fuck is an arboretum? <laughs> I'm an sick arboretum? of it. An arboretum? I don't know. It's an armadillo that makes burritos. Maybe. Arboretum? Arboretum. What is Some an armadillo? Stupid. What is an armadillo? A Cybertruck on it's planet? A, it's a cat that has fucking football pads on it. What the hell is this? Dude, who's getting pussy off Cybertrucks? Dude, they had to return like $6,000. Yeah, yeah, because the pedals kept the getting pedal, stuck. Yeah. One of them crashes into the Beverly Hills Hotel. <laughs> good. Dude, when, when something happens to rich people, I say good. Eat the rich. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny that you make a car and they're like, yeah, but what if it doesn't stop? They're like, hey, come on, man. Come on. It won't. The reason why it's stuck is there's too much sperm underneath because everyone's getting fucking blown. No, they're not. You don't like Cybertrucks? They're fine. They, yeah, they're so back heavy. Yeah. It's it looks a like big old ass. Yo. Cyber trunk. It says, I had heard all of them, but you know how many that is all of them? It's 2,000? Surprisingly low. Yeah, it's 3,878. Isn't it funny when a company does a recall? Like, hey, that's all I bet. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, but the funny a thing. recall. But recall, what does that mean? I want to recall some relationships. All right. I want to recall, <laughs> recall some cum. You ever cum? You're like, ah, I want to recall that. Put it back. Yeah, put it back in. Have you ever, have we talked about this before? Have you had the thing, it happened to me this weekend, where you, yes, you come and Sorry, then yo. it like doesn't, you physically come, but your brain never sends this, gets the signal that you came, so you're still just as horny and you can immediately keep going. Like Japanese you, subtitles? Because <laughs> it's delayed? Does that make sense? Because uh, it's delayed? <laughs> yes. No, because they're saying no, a thing, but they already said it. Keep going. Because it's delayed. Mm -hmm. keep, Does that make sense? Mission the case. Well, you've never watched a transcribed movie? You know what's crazy? It's a judge goes... <laughs> A judge, a judge has a, a gavel. A judge goes a like gavel this. A judge goes like this. Not guilty, and you don't go to prison. But he goes like this. Guilty. That hammer is fucking important. The hammer does both. Bro. Imagine he doesn't have the, the gavel that day. He's like, ah, oh, man, what? A slam jam. <laughs> does he have Who to always the, remember that? What does that live? I think it comes with the desk. Does I would get a custom one. I would want like a grip on it. No, yeah. I would want like a Cigar titanium holder. holder. Clang! <laughs> it's just so funny that like, before you go to jail, the last thing you hear is donk, donk, donk. Oh, Why man. did we all have to rise when the judge walks in? What did he do? He didn't do shit. He read a couple books. All rise. Oh, for him? <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> and he wears a black gown. Shut up. Uh, yeah, but imagine you don't rise and then you just go to jail. Do you? All rise. Why is there so many people there? If, yeah. you're, if you're not part of the family or the jury or <laughs> yeah. the lawyer, why are you there? Where's the, for the crowd work <laughs> Where's the funniest place you can get a crowd work clip? Uh, uh, death Row. <laughs> I mean, th but those would be like, man, he'd be like, I'll kill you. You're like, whoa, whoa, pat him down. He actually would. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funniest place probably, uh. They're the most random place to get a crowd work clip. Oh, fucking. Denny's hey. Waitress. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Or like a baseball game. Okay. Strike one. What are you doing for a living? It's like, I'm currently doing it. God. What is a foot? Yeah, maybe an abortion clinic. What were we talking about before? <laughs> Judges. Gavel, oh, gavel. Gavel, gavel is so crazy. Gavel Newsom. How is he not a judge? <laughs> <laughs> Gavin Newsom. Why uh, the fuck are taxes so expensive? <laughs> Why are taxes so expensive? Why do people want to be in the government for what? Pussy. <laughs> if pussy didn't exist, no one would run for fucking Congress. No one would have jobs. No one. You're right. The world would, everybody would be a sloth. I would eat eucalyptus and jerk my. I would have already been, dude. If you wake up and you're like, man, like, dude, no, there's what's the motivation? Why am I gonna get a cyber truck for no pussy? That's insane. Yeah, really. Yeah, when you go on Kelly Blue Book, it shouldn't be like, oh, the stats. It should be like, how many hoes do you get per car? Oh yeah, per acceleration. What's the orgasm to rev? <laughs> what ratio? Do people get <laughs> do people get vagina off cars? I mean, I guess well, right. Uh, Orange Celica. No hoes! <laughs> You've seen no. those gold digger videos? I know, dude, but it's so it's so insane. Hundred percent. Yeah. But what do you think? Okay, what do you think the best car to buy is to get those type of women? I think a Porsche. You think so? I think a Porsche is down the middle because it's it's, it's flashy, but it's not too flashy. Lambo just shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, do you remember? We were at front of the Laugh Factory, we did the same show, and that guy, I mean, I'm sure he's a nice guy. No, he's not. Oh, but yeah, he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Move your car. Well, they also like look at their car, then look at you, and then they'll say stuff like, "You, you probably want to sit in it, right?" And you're like, "I got bad knees. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. a low <laughs> car." I'm also, I'm also good. But like, let me, guess, let me guess. So I sit down, and uh, it takes my body weight. 
You go, oh, well, cool, whoa, dude. Whoa, oh, oh, this is a pretty low. Oh, these seats, whoa, I'm boxed. Whoa, let I'm me in guess. here. The steering wheel you turn the car with? Who gives a fuck? Yeah. If like, you have a Porsche and, well, yeah, if you, no, I, I think if you have a Lamborghini, there's something wrong in your internal system. Yeah. Yeah. There's a void that you are hiding. You were adopted. One day I will have a Lamborghini for sure. Yeah. And I'm going to rev the engine and that rev is going to hide my crying because yeah. I never got married. I'm age 52 going <laughs> down yeah, the whole it's canyon. Gonna, it's going to cover the sound of my kids screaming because <laughs> you forgot they're in a bathtub because you were worried about it. You were worried about fucking buffing your car. You're a loser. <laughs> I don't like, I, you know what? I'm out. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, like, I like an old Lamborghini, you know? Okay. Like little a, class. Like, yeah, little class. Little like class. a Ferris Bueller type beat Ferrari. Oh, those or, are so sick. Or, right? But I feel like a Porsche is nice because it's got some like, rum, 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 but it's also like classic. The the type of owner, uh, the type of Porsche owner isn't going to be like, you want to sit in it? He's like, oh, yeah, you want to. It's a thing that's nice car. Have. Yeah. And if you want to sit in it, you can do it. If yeah. you want to, whatever. But the I'm not. guys are like white chicks with tattoos. They have follow up questions. They're like, you oh, probably yeah. want to know what it's about. Yeah. You probably want to know like how I've much it was. I've never looked at anyone's tattoo and it's like, I wonder what that's about, unless it's a crowd work clip. Uh, I have a <laughs> scenario for you. Imagine you're a bad bitch, right? Both of you. What do you mean imagine? You're yeah. a bad bitch. I'll take Volumptu cock on the regular. Voluptuous. And, uh, Big ass tits. Uh, you meet a nice, handsome man, and he's got, a, he's got a Porsche. Classic okay. fucking Ferris oh. Bueller type. Red, okay. red little Porsche. And uh, you're like, oh my God, like, is that a Porsche? And you're like feeling like really attracted to him. But then he says, actually, it's Porsche. Oh, Would okay. you, are you still fucking him? Dude, this is literally an argument that my girlfriend and I have. I say a Porsche. What she is says right? Porsche. Well, I say Porsche. What is it? Porsche. It's how you pronounce it. Porsche. Porsche. And she goes, yeah. And she goes, and my girl's always like, yeah, it's poor. I know it's Porsche, but if you pronounce it like a Porsche, you say you say Porsche, you're like a douche. And I'm like, I sort of, I understand. Porsche. Porsche. I understand. I, well, Porsche? I understand Porsche. Everyone says Porsche. It's still, it's one of those words, the more you say it, the weirder it sounds. Porsche. Yeah. Porsche. What, what is it about when you're super high and you say like spork? So the words just sound like you're you act as if your brain or is like hearing words for the first time. It's ever happened to you guys when you're yeah. super high and you say a word, you're like, I get that paper sober. Made. Oh, really? Yeah, Wednesday, Quasimodo. Would you beat say yes? <laughs> oh, but who would I, I know we've been down this road before, but I'm really interested. How do words come about? Someone looked at a piece of paper and was like, That's paper. Yeah, what the fuck. Arboretum, where we started. It would have been fun to get in back then. Because then oh, people, yeah. people just run around the town gathering shit. One guy holds up a chair and he goes, chair? And they're like, okay. Like yeah, if Who you're voted first, on it? If you're first, you're you're that. Yeah, but yeah. So, so yeah, someone picked up a knife and like, this is not, what, what in the, the fuck, fuck is this? Is, this? Is, what, this? Is, is Jack doing this? Uh, Yeah, he hacked me. What? No, sorry. It's just Quasimodo. Who's Quasimodo? Is that a hunchback? Yeah. Quasimodo is Jack's father. He's. Someone laugh. <laughs> oh, I see. I thought Jack was a Disney character. No. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, right. yeah I'm, I'm out. Yeah, 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 that's really we don't weird. need that. I yeah. wanted to make funny jokes, but that was just weird. Yeah, that yeah I don't He either. was packing, though. I don't even like, oh, was he? Was he? Do they ever draw a man with a small penis? Why do you think he's so hunched over? His cock was whipped. Hey, carpal <laughs> tunnel. Cockle tunnel. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you guys see the Golden Bachelor filed for divorce? Yeah. After, like, how long? Yeah. How long was it? I, had, uh, less, I think less than a year. Well, we're talking about Porsches and being lonely, but like the Golden Bachelor is literally just Michael. I mean, he's in love right now, so I don't think so. But like, maybe like pandemic Michael. Yeah. You like, like this guy is on his show. How old is he? Uh, he's like, I think we looked this up. Like imagine six, me in 62 and be like, ick. Ick? You yeah. have mesothelioma. <laughs> <laughs> I think, no, but I think, he, I think he's older than that. I think he's like 71. Like, 71, wow. But do the standards ever stop? No. Do you ever look at a woman and be like, ah, she chews a little weird. I can't bear with her. Like, like, is this just, like, do you just stay in your ways until the end of time? Or do you just accept somebody else for who they are and their flaws? I think I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm slightly confused. What are you saying? Like, he's 71 being yeah. like, nah, she ain't it. What? Yeah, but Ride I think, it out, I pops. Think, I think the new 71 is different than the old 71. Yeah. Thank you. Like, cause 71 now, dude, you're on fucking testosterone. You're, you're telling me you're elongating your fucking theorems, whatever the hell it's called. Phantoms or whatever the fuck Brogan says. But like, you're, it's, it's different. Like 71, dude, back, dude, LeBron is 40 dropping 30 points. Like new age health is different. 
So like 71. I hear you, but at age 71, you have so much life experience. And like he just keeps, this guy is delusional. He thinks like his perfect one is out there somewhere. He's like, I'm going to keep dating, go to Golden Corral on a Wednesday. To be 71 and get a divorce, if you're the girl, you're like, what the fuck? But to be 71 and not be the, to be 71 and you work at Midas, problem. <laughs> but like you're 71, he's on, he won, he's, I'll go like, his, his stock has never been higher in his whole entire life. What did so he do now before he's like, this? Uh, that's a great question. Did he actually um, get married? Or is that uh, fake? No, he, they really got married and then it dissolved it very quickly. There's like a whole pie chart on, I think I sent it to you. If you go to that thing I sent you and you slide around, it shows the average duration of marriages on Bachelor, Bachelorette. Yeah, it's because it's not real. Yeah, but you're 71. Ride it out. No. What was the, the shot? What was she looking like? But my... My point is, he's seventy. He's seventy-one. His stock's never been higher. Yeah, but where is he gonna go get hose? YMCA. Widow Wednesdays. No, but bro, I mean, he's seventy-one going bachelor. Like he can, he can bag a thirty-six-year-old. What no is he problem. gonna hit him up on fucking Yahoo? Maybe Hotmail. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Like he's he's looking at he he's like yo now I have so much but more. Dude, dude, I'm seventy-one. I'm tired. Of course, he's going on first dates. Yeah. How I mean, is your day? I uh, shit myself at noon. <laughs> yeah. Try this butterscotch. He just dies. <laughs> She's like, so when am I going to see you again? He's like, I can't make any promises more than today. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be here tomorrow. My Google calendar stops in a year and a half. So I actually, I think I totally get this from his side. So he's Thank a, you. He's real hot. He's a retired Sorry, restaurateur. Sorry, can pop ever. He was married for 43 years to his high school sweetheart who suddenly fell ill and died in 2017. Jesus oh, Christ. So like, he bro, killed her. And 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 now he's just like hot silver fox, like he's That's drowning what I'm in pussy. Insane, yeah. dude. His stock I feel, has I, never been higher. God damn. Trevor Wallace comedy. That is me. I'm in front of a green screen. Who knows? Maybe some editors will put me behind some fun stuff while I read my tour dates, huh? Please don't put me on a casting couch. I'm gonna be in San Francisco, Salt Lake City. Just added a sick show in Salt Lake. What the fuck? Bring all your wives out. It's going to be a good time. We're going to be in Miami, Florida, 305. We're going to be in Lexington, Kentucky, Tampa, Tempe, uh, fucking uh, Portland, Oregon. Portland, goddamn Oregon. A bunch of other cities. If you live in a city, go to go to my website. You'll see it there. TrevorWallaceComedy.com. I'm out. Michael Blaustein will be doing stand-up comedy. I will tell you where, buddy. Uh, May 2nd to the 4th, this weekend, I will be in Charlotte, North Carolina. Three out of the five shows are already sold out. I think there's a few tickets left on some of those shows, so go get tickets before you cannot. Um, May 30th to June 1st, I'll be in Austin, Texas. All shows, low tickets, so go get tickets. Um, August 2nd, um, I will be at the Morongo Casino in Cabazon, California. So many things I can't say, but that's going to be August 2nd. Those tickets are low as well. August 9th, I'll be in New York City for the rescheduled date. So go get tickets. I think there's a few left. Um, August 23rd, I'll be in Gary, Indiana. Super fun. And then, buddy, everybody, UK tour. I'll list them off. September 18th, I'll be in Glasgow. September 19th, I'll be in Dublin. September 20th, I'll be in London. September 21st, I'll be in Belfast. September 22nd, I'll be in Manchester. Go get tickets. September 27th to the 29th, I'll be in Miami. And so many more dates on my website. That is blogcomedy.com. That is blogcomedy.com. God damn. This podcast is sponsored by our boys at Arena Club, dude. All right, in the trading card game, it's not easy being a fan of ripping packs or repacks, okay? We hype ourselves up, think we could pull, I don't know, freaking Babe Ruth, the rookie card, all right? But with zero transparency on available cards and hit rates, dude, it's all just a shot in the dark. Until now, okay? Introducing the slab packs from arenaclub.com, the only repack that provides real value, a complete view of all possible cards, and clear hit rates for each one. We all know that I love trading cards. I mean, collecting basketball cards since I was a kid. And I wish I had Arena Club when I was a kid, okay? Because the transparency on these slab packs is incredible, okay? It displays the available cards, hit rates, and grading, okay? And Arena Club is a marketplace for card collecting, buying, trading, selling, display. Arena Club slab packs are revolutionizing the repack game with transparency. After your polls are revealed, 
they'll immediately be placed in your vault for safekeeping or trading and selling, okay? You can have them officially graded by Arena Club. So right now you can get 10% off your first purchase by going to arenaclub.com slash socks. Okay, wow, buddy, that is a crazy offer. 10% off a $400 slab pack, okay? That's $40 right there, that's incredible. Anyways, that's arenaclub.com slash socks for 10% off your first purchase. Go get them. God damn. Dude, if I had a, a high school sweetheart for 41 years and she passed away, I would put my dick in so many holes. Yeah, I'd fuck a sandwich immediately. Oh my God, a pineapple ring? <laughs> yeah, oh my God, you warm them shits up, you get about six or seven. How many pineapple rings do you think you get in your cock? Six, let's move on. Probably. Six? <laughs> I get more than that. You can probably do seven. Yeah. The rings are like, how, how big is I'll this? I'll get hungry halfway through. Oh yeah, I'd eat some. Yeah. Yo, you ever, oh, if you put onion rings in your dick and have a, the love they of your burn. life, eat them off. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ow. Ouchie. I would, re Fouch. <laughs> I would rather put something that they could like lick off. Like uh, Lucas Crazy Hair. Did you ever have that growing mm. up? What about peach rings? It still might hurt. Like I would, I would yeah. put like a coating on it. Like a, gl like a glue. Like a, like a, like a, uh, a Hershey's chocolate. Oh, did you ever, put the, oh, did you ever yeah. put the shells on your ice cream that hardened? Oh, yeah. What the fuck technology was that? I don't know, dude. <laughs> what? That was like nanobites dude, or something. Dude, they dropped shit. that out of no the turtle shell. That yeah, stuff was shell. so goddamn it, where'd good. Where'd that go? And there was like a peanut butter one that was. Yeah, yeah, fuck! yeah, 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 yeah. Those were so good, dude. Yeah. Why, 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 why don't, do people care about pink berry anymore when they had that shit? Where's pink that? Pink berry's at? fucking average. It's good, but like it's oh. not good. It's it's tangy. <laughs> I like it. Ew. It's like a. <laughs> You already know where my head was going. I, didn't I don't know. I was just going to feel like it's like a little bit of that. That's a little off. Pussy? <laughs> Dude, pussy, that's a little off. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Do you care? Dude, no. honestly, Todd. If, you, yeah, if, you, if you taste it and you're like, that's a little, like if it's a little off, yeah. who cares? Finish your meal. <laughs> Todd. Yeah. Well, it's hot because you're like, oh, you know what that smells from? Cooter. You know what's so hot is when you put your pee pee in a vajayjay and it comes out and it's got that white crust on it. What is that? I I don't. It's like woman cum, but it's not. Because sometimes you put it in, it's like you're three seconds in. What is that? I appreciate woman it. Woman discharge. Maybe it's like we put on a toasted strudel. Honestly, I would eat it. Speaking of that, dude, there's a chef at the San Jose Improv. Guys, thank you, everyone uh, from San Jose that came out to the shows. Holy fuck, they were so fun. Uh, 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 there's a chef at San Jose Improv. Yes, dude. So I have Uncrustables on my rider. It's a thing that's a list you put together, stuff you want in your green room. I have Uncrustables. Really? Yeah. You are a diva. Can we pull up this photo? Yeah. yeah. What photo? Mm -hmm. Let me finish my game. How you travel is hilarious. Hold on. Can I? Can I? Okay. Can, don't let me forget because this is great. I want to run this. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so I have Uncrustables on my rider, and the chef was like, dude, I got some ideas for you. He's like, okay. The second night, check this out, dude. Second night, oh, Jack was there. Second night, he cuts them up in like little, like, uh, like fours or whatever. You're going to love this. this third grader. No, no. He deep fries them. Ooh. Yeah, I knew you were going to be in. Deep fries them, puts powdered sugar on them. Oh, shit. And puts. A uh, chocolate sauce. You're like, eating this before you go up? I know. It wasn't a good idea. I only had one, but it was fucking unbelievable. Deep fried them, uh, powdered sugar, and then put little uh, uh, like Hershey's chocolate, like warm fudge. It was fudge on top of them. Fucking bitch my That's dick in half. really good. It was crazy, dude. Were they frozen beforehand or no? Because I think that like a like a frozen ice cream type feel, if the mm. Uncrustable's frozen, oh, so you. the peanut butter and jelly is yeah, so yeah, cold, yeah. but then the outside's oh, crisp. Oh, shit. Yes. So your sister had a rat growing up? <laughs> My sister had a rat. <laughs> I'm sick of it. She had a rat the growing up. The fact that we haven't brought this up more is crazy. And the fact that when the rat died, there was a funeral in the backyard. You didn't tell me that. There was a funeral in the backyard. What was the, what was the rat's name? I don't know. Fucking alopecia. <laughs> <laughs> I think she gave fondly Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I'm lightheaded as fuck. Alopecia has a rat. What? Okay, hold on. She only had one one rat. Was a it rat. white or black? It was white. White rat with red eyes? red eyes. No, dude. <laughs> it just like when we were growing up. Yeah. My sister would go to my parents and be like, "I want this," and they'd be like, "Yes, our queen, our angel." Oh, I'd be yeah. like, "I want Lego." They'd be like, "Back to your room, <laughs> you orange-haired dumb fuck." 
Go eat more Lego tires, you idiot. Lego I tires, asked, legit, were good. Fire. How it feels is true five gum <laughs> Lego dude, tires. Dude, if the chef and Sanze came out with Lego tires, I'd eat them over the Uncrustables. Oh. What was that? Glue is so good. Glue's good. Do you good. ever have the blue glue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the, the best. The chapstick one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Elmer's one? I'll eat that shit. That shit was good. Yeah. Did you have the smellable markers? Yep. Those I'd eat those great. too. Do you ever eat crayons? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you oh, we're back. This is a photo of how Michael travels. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Is they, that a neck brace and an iPad? A neck brace? Uh, with neck pillow? Neck pillow, yeah, it's yeah. It's just so funny to look over and then you're just fully in the different yeah. matrix. Bro, well, well, this is this is after negative hours of sleep <clears throat> in between shows, driving in between shows. I was fucking so tired. Yeah, it's I don't know. I it just wasn't, I was just tapping through stories and Jessica Kirsten, who is hilarious. Sure that, and it just wasn't even like you like making fun of you. It was just like you just fucking. Oh, I was on one. I was done, I, dude. For some reason, I imagine you have your sunglasses on underneath that. <laughs> sorry, just waiting, sorry, clapped. Just waiting for somebody to tell you in Vancouver. Uh, sh- can we see some border uh, paperwork? You take off the eye mask. You take off the glasses. Oh, t- anyone ask? Like, I don't, dude. What is it? I have to talk to my therapist about this because I don't understand. Like, there was uh, one time, uh, one time, fucking happened two days ago. I was in San Jose with fucking Captain, and they, I, like, in the, the fucking play, the coffee shop, like, before I even got to the counter, they're like, I'm sorry, sir, there's no dogs in here. You, can you please take. What? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> who cares? You're 21 years old. You don't own this fucking coffee shop. Let an 11 pound dog, maybe heavier, <laughs> <laughs> let an 11 pound dog walk around. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, what is well, she going to do? I think it's just so normal in Los Angeles and bigger cities that are like, yeah, bring your dog in. But San Jose, it's like, you're going to ban my dog, but there's a guy in the corner shooting fentanyl through a paper straw? That's what I'm saying. Thank God it's paper straw, though. God, who, save the earth. Fuck this earth. Do you think the turtles miss the, like, BDSM aspect? You think they're yeah. like, man, this just boring now. Yeah. Because every once in a while, like... One of their boys would get glocked by a plastic straw. I'm like, that sucks, but kind of funny for Ralphie, the turtle, you know? Like, yeah, I, I, there's, I, no, there's no threat for them anymore. It makes life dangerous. When the seagulls, okay. Give when the me. seagulls are putting on the six pack bottle, you know? Yep. They're like, oh, you're supposed to cut those? Whose fault is that? Is the, is the seagull like, yo, watch me put this new necklace on? And then they're like, oh, Jimmy, he can't take it off. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's sad when you see it, but like, how did you get involved in that? Who, uh, the seagull? Yeah. Um, I think this. I think the seagull is just trying to off himself. <laughs> I think when we do that, we upset the natural order of things. That's what if I'm you're saying. a seagull and you put that around your neck, done. Because none of nothing. You ever about- heard of Darwinism? <laughs> <laughs> Penguinism. So what? Like Penguinism. What, they, it doesn't even look like food. I would get if they thought <laughs> the six pack plastic looked like some sort of food, and he's like, ah, oh, fruit roll up. Yeah. It's clearly a circle with plastic. Yeah. How is he like, is that a BLT? <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that they're getting caught in it. Yeah. How does that happen? Die. I don't know. How it's, does that happen? Yeah. I, I mean, I, no, I, I'm I, asking you. How oh. does that <laughs> I, I mean, I, 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 maybe it's like shimmering off the water or some shit. I don't know. Mm. But is it, dude, seals do that? I thought dolphins did that. I thought dolphins, dolphins? Got, got caught up in the, the fucking six pack. Is it is it seagulls? No, it's no, it's like seagulls. I don't know, man. Dolphins it, are pretty strong. Yeah, they, they are. fuck other animals up. They fuck us. There's like a hundred cases of rape a year from dolphins. Dolphins yeah. take it. I don't know. Which if is that, they but so funny. They to take me. it or they, they give, give it. it. They huh? give it. They give. The dolphins, they oh, give it. No, yeah, oh, you're no, right, you're no, right, you're no. right. They don't take, they give. Oh, right, sorry, sorry, yeah, reverse, my bad. Dolphins are pretty stupid for breathing joke. air and living in the water. What did you just say? They're pretty dumb for, like, breathing air. Aren't they breathing? Oh, so yeah, when, they're, yeah. when they're hitting speed bumps out of the water, that's just to breathe? Yeah. That, yeah. Well, so sometimes dumb. they're having fun. Yeah, I think but they're kind of playing. I don't think they have to come up that much. And After they banged out a human, they're like, hey, hell yeah. <laughs> no, when a dolphin's not doing that, they just banged out a human. Because they're so tired. Yeah, you ever seen a dolphin like on the belly up? They're not dead. They just came. <laughs> Do dolphins have cocks? <laughs> I mean, otters are always in post net regret. They're always just floating on their back. They're like, yeah. oh, this is nice. This is good. Oh, dude, sometimes I see G. This is not connected, so sh- everyone shut up. <laughs> when I see Gigi in the sun, kind of just hanging out on her back, I'm like, God damn it. That's life. That's life, dude. Oh, yeah, cats got, in the sun. Yeah, Same I'm worried thing. about fucking TikTok, and you guys are just kicking it. 
I looked at my cat this morning and I was like, you don't even know what the fuck Monday is. No. He has no he just goes sun up, sun down. Where's my food? Let me scratch my ass and go to sleep. No day is stressful for him. He's never like, oh, I got a Zoom at 12. None of it. He got the Zoomies. Hey. That's what, dude, I, but I know. I'm, I'm, I'm literally jealous. Like, Gigi was in fucking bed. I'm about to get, I'm getting in the shower to get on a fucking Zoom, and Gigi's just sitting there, just ate, just went outside. I mean, what? That's all, I mean, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of parts of the video. Edit a clip. Fucking, I mean, literally get thumbs and fucking help me. <laughs> get thumbs and final cut and figure it out. Yeah, I mean, literally figure it out because you fuck. You're like, you're in my class because I'm doing this and you're just fucking sitting there. And sometimes I'm fine with it and other times I'm fucking pissed. Also, you're barking too much. Shut up. You bark and you don't even pay rent is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you pay One rent, or the other. You, yeah. You pay rent, bark away. 100%. You got no equity in this. None. When you're ordering a pizza, some guys go, hey, get wings. Oh, get your wallet. That's what I'm saying. Bark, bark. When was the last time you went around the room and asked for pizza orders? You know what I mean? Like you're on the phone with Domino's. Like, what did you? Who is it? Oh, you yeah. Two pineapple too? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's when, nice. when, I, when, I had, when I had roommates. Yeah, dude, dads would own that shit. They would <laughs> gather the whole family in the, in the living room. He could remember it too. Yeah. I could never remember it. What's a dad, by the way? Um... <laughs> Gabe, can you look that up? <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, pizza orders are, yeah, that, that walking around, but, oh, let me say this to you. Say it away. I was uh, at a restaurant. Oh! Yep. Fucking? Yeah, dude, you know me, making money. <laughs> Just go. I was at a restaurant, uh -huh. and the dude walked up to the table, didn't write it down. Waiter, yeah. Stop it. In certain cities, it's cool. Certain other cities, you don't need to do that. You're nope. in San Jose, California. Was this San Jose? Mm -mm. Oh, this is out here? Uh, it was in D.C. actually, or Maryland. Hmm. Don't do that. Somebody was like New York or L.A. I'm like, these are the best trained waiters in town. These guys have been actors for a decade. This guy can memorize a line or two. Yeah. But when you're in like Maryland, you're like, for what? Yeah, I don't I don't understand the flex. Also, you know what's, this is so dumb, but you know what's so, so crazy about a brain? It's like, it gets better, this is so stupid, just bear with me, but it just gets better at tasks. Because I remember when I was bartending, dude, Someone and, and waiter, like people could like, I could remember orders from like four tables ago, like clearly could remember them. And now if I just jump behind a bar, there's no way. One person like screwdriver, one person be like, I'm going to get Jack and Coke. And I'll be like, cool, you're getting an orange G in it and you're getting fentanyl. <laughs> like there's no way that I'm remembering these you're orders. fucking up with Jack and Coke. Oh, oh, oh remember, remembering. Oh, remember, like there's no way. But it's like something you just, I mean, this is so obvious, but like you, you repeat and like you get so good at it, but you lose that shit. I don't, oh, I haven't I read, I haven't read, like literally haven't read a book in probably four to five months. A book is like where the pages, anyways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Is that like a podcast but written? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I've, I've read a few of those. But I tried to read recently. Like, my brain doesn't know how to do it anymore. Ah, it's what, what, what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just forget? Yeah. What is, What the fuck? But I will say, if I was a waiter and somebody was like, oh, aren't you going to write this down? I'm like, oh, aren't you shut the fuck up. You don't trust me? Especially when I'm getting the, the specifics. Like, oh, well, this, because you actually make that the vegan one, and that's the dairy one, and then yeah. could you make the, the gluten for, and the guy's like, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, there's no way. I mean, like, you specific with drink orders? My girl's gluten-free, gluten-free this, I can't get soy sauce, drinks. blah, blah, blah. But, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know, but there's certain, like, soy sauces you can get, can't get, whatever. Yeah, 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 there's yeah, a yeah. lot of shit sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes there's six fucking people. I would panic. Oh, dude, there's no, I'm just, because I just write it down. Yeah. Use a voice memo. <laughs> That's what I would it's do. Is sketch Yeah, just a fucking AI. Yeah, I think it'd be hilarious if you're a waiter and then you took somebody's order and then you just walked out of the restaurant and just kept walking. I, I, I went, okay, cool. I'll be right back. And then you just can never go back. Yeah, you know what I want? I want one time to walk into work and my waiter's like, oh, my waiter, my manager's like, you're late. And I'll be like, oh, interesting. I want to slap him in the face and then walk out. Quitting is so fire. Hey, can you, hey, can shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you just leave? Some dude that's been yelling at you for a year and a half and all of a sudden you just fuck, you just lose it. Fuck you, Bill. And leave. No, you're fired. Good. Don't need it's the job. It's gotta feel like uh, <clears throat> powerful. Oh, to leave? But you think people get that post post fire regret? One hundred percent. And then the next morning they get a bill in their mail and they're like, "Oh, I still have rent." Oh, dude, a hundred percent. There's there was a couple people at my restaurant that tried to get their jobs back after they fired. <laughs> and they did like after they got fired or after they quit. One quit, one fired. 
fired fired to get a job back is fine. But like I'm talking about like they come in the next day and they have like a sit down with the manager and they try to get their job back. They're like, hey, sorry, man. Hey, come on, man. Yeah, come on. We're I'll, riffing. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need a food runner. Right? You know, let me run some head on you. <laughs> run some head is so funny. Run me some head. Run Bro, me some I head. I got hired at the first restaurant I worked as at in New York, and I was wearing. Maybe I did say this before. I was wearing a Steve Harvey suit, and I'll never forget that. Mm. What restaurant was it? Olive Garden? Spice Market. Mm. Walked in with a Steve Harvey suit. <laughs> not not just the... And I did it for the, for the MTV internship, too. That's what I was too. thinking about, too. But it was the suit, same right? suit. Yeah. You don't even like, need a resume. The second they walked in, they go, this kid just graduated college. I mean, dude, I don't... I, I, Isn't that funny? We just expect our, like, dad's suit to fit. You're like, oh, I'm going to prom. Dad, can I wear a suit? He's like, I'm a grown-ass man. I'm 270 pounds. <laughs> I, I mean, dude, my, yeah. I, I got a, I, I got some good suit photos of me, like, going to, like, homecoming. And you look back at these, I mean, there wasn't a tailor in sight. None. I mean, my my my, my whole entire suit is wide. I look like I was wearing, like, a big pun outfit. <laughs> like, it's a It's gra- bad. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. And, and, you're, and nobody wanted to. Dude, but I was always, like, all over the place with fucking fashion. The first, I wore an olive, olive green suit to my fr- freshman year homecoming. That's fine. Or winter formal. I came in it, <laughs> said that story before, and then, yeah, but the zoot suit, cream-colored pinstripe red tie, and oh, and it was a vest, same color, uh, or same pattern as the suit. Do you have a photo of this, by chance? I think we try to bring it up one yeah. time. If you just Google it, it'll probably come up. It's like cream. You think? I th- I don't know, dude. It's just out there like that? I don't know. Cr- Michael like Blouse cre- on zoot suit? <laughs> I wouldn't put my name on it. Live on Broadway. Zoot suit. Oh, Zoot. you're just saying zoot suit? Yeah, cream color zoot suit pinstripe. Like that? Uh it would uh What kind what? of shoes were you wearing? Oh fuck, I don't remember the shoes. I pissed I don't. Probably some like Osiris. What is a zoot suit? It's just a massive suit. I yeah, it's like this it. kind of suit with like the Oh, that's how it fit, dog. I'm not joking, that's how it fit. <laughs> It's just so funny to be in high school wearing a suit. You got no reasoning to be wearing a damn suit right now. No, I pay no bills. You're like, I am here to finger somebody's daughter. <laughs> I'm always here to finger someone's daughter. God damn. Ha ha ha. What a funny episode. This is your brother in Trevor Wallace here live from my basement with a goddamn iPhone wireless mic to plug our Patreon. What even is a Patreon? You always talk about every goddamn episode. Yap, 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 yap. Well, that's what we do. We yap for an extra hour every single week on every single Friday. Oh, but I already listened to the Wednesday's episode. Well, we have a brand new episode on Wednesday that only goes out to an exclusive audience. Patreon.com slash Stiff Socks Pod. Patreon.com slash Stiff Socks Pod. Okay. You know what, Gabe? They don't believe it. They don't believe it. Some of the people believe it, but they don't believe it. Gabe, play a clip. Well, it's just funny that everybody does it. And they shot a load around. into a crew neck and then walk into a bank. <laughs> like, I just wanted to see about yeah, switching my son's uh, graduate account. I just came four minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know what even <laughs> happening. I don't, do I have a son? <laughs> That shit was crazy, wasn't it? It was crazy. And I'm wearing a damn turtleneck. Everything I do and say is crazy. Now go indulge. Patreon.com backslash SivSoxPod or or Apple Plus where you can listen to that extra episode for only $4.99 a month. You save a cent. It makes sense. Bitch. Whore. Goddamn. Yeah, Zootsu, I don't know what the hell I was doing, dude. But I, I mean, I got both jobs. I went into Red Lobster with a zoot suit on. No they wonder. probably thought you were like the touring agent for the lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a thousand freshies in the bag. How many lobsters? You want? Isn't Red Lobster going bankrupt? Yeah, Whoa, I done. haven't heard that. Look yeah. it up. Red Cheddar, Lobster going bankrupt. Dude, cheddar biscuits are gone. How? But how do you go bankrupt? Have you seen the people that shop there? True. <laughs> Red Lobster reportedly considers bankruptcy after eleven million dollar loss on endless shrimp. These fat fucks. Eleven million dollars on endless, endless shrimp. shrimp. Well, I'll tell you, it is a little. It's not endless because it's ending. Do you know how much fucking shrimp these motherfuckers ate? Um, they, they go into the Atlantic with an Uzi and they go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I'm just saying, like, how much it endless shrimp? Like, how much you need to? They, whoever said, oh, all right, there's no way they can eat this much. Oh, yes, yeah. they did. Yeah. Right down their fucking gullets. I mean, yeah, a month into this, they're just cutting chicken and just making it look like a shrimp, and they're like, <laughs> shrimp of the sea. <laughs> That's cr- eleven million dollars in shrimp is crazy. I mean, how soon into their endless shrimp announcement were they like, oh, this is not going to end well? Also, it took less than a year. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, what did they think was going to happen? So apparently they introduced $20 ultimate endless shrimp deals throughout June 2023 because there was they were people weren't coming to Red Lobster anymore. The yeah. Beyonce effect had worn off. They were like, we need something new. Right. Um, and proceeded to, they, they grew 4% that year, but then lost $11 million on how much shrimp people ate. Because what? That's disgusting. Think about how many, sh- like 20 bucks. Like how many shrimp could you put down for 20 bucks? 28. 28 shrimp. Like, yeah, but I think they're like little baby shrimp. I don't. I don't think they're like the actual. Nah, they're, they're 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 decent. They're not sure, serving you like those little oh, mini ones. I thought ones. they're doing. Oh, I thought they're doing the scampi things like that. That size. And the shrimp, red lobster. Yeah, this yeah, looks yeah. so good. I love. Yeah, red they're lobster. probably like. Uh, I mean, uh, is I mean, red that lobster? looks like pretty real ass shrimp, right? Yeah, I mean, I think they're a little. Yeah, some of those might be CGI, but yeah, a little a little underweight, I think. But but I mean, I don't know. Thirty. That looks phenomenal. That, shrimp is f- so good. Do you like shrimp plain or shrimp tacos? Only one answer. Tacos. Wrong. Shrimp okay. by itself is better. Well, uh, I just okay. think you get lost in the texture. Fish tacos are fucking phenomenal. You though. know what's so good? Coconut shrimp. Coconut and shrimp is a heater. Dude, coconut shrimp is so There's good. There's certain bro. food mixes where you're like, I don't know why they're putting coconuts with these shrimps, but God damn it, is it good. Coconut just looks weird. Coconut as a whole? Like outside. Why do you got that? But it's like life. Outside Uh-oh. and hairy and hard. And then you got to drill in for the sweet stuff. Or it's like my cock. Pussy's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not have merch yet that just says pussy is crazy? I mean, literally, I'm going to drop the special. I'm going to have a merch pussy shop with Pussy is special. crazy. Yeah. And then I have just a cat. Yeah. Pluto. IP. I took it. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's crazy. But here, here's the other crazy part. $11 million. I don't. How big Red Lobster is, I don't feel like that's a big loss. Am I? Am I dumb? For uh, red lobster, like eleven I mil for like I I just feel like that's their like napkin budget. Aren't there so many fucking restaurants? Let's find out. Like I, I would I would assume there's at least a thousand red lobsters in America. That's a lot of money lost on shrimp. Because they're probably getting it for what four cents a shrimp. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know where the shrimp market is. Let me check. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be good. I don't know. Oh, it was uh, just one quarter was eleven million dollar loss. Wow. Holy okay, shit. that's a lot of money. Yeah, that was Q three. Uh, they must have been getting hungry. If you're at a job, we have to say Q anything. I don't Q know what, anon. That's the only one I'm fine with. I never know what they're saying when they're like, Paycheck. "Yeah, we're by Q two, or we're gonna." What What does any of this mean, dude? Did you, we had we say by February. We just had a Stiff Sox meeting, and I, I pitched the date, and Gabe was like, "No, no, no they meant by Q 2 What are you talking about? Why do we make more? Why do we make more words? More complication. It's always more complication. Someone tell me what the fuck is going on. If I didn't do comedy, I would be drowning. Just a regular job. Oh, right. I mean, like, no, I would have. Yeah, I would have swallowed a gun a while ago. I think about swallowing a gun with my life now. <laughs> Can you imagine if I worked for T-Mobile? Oh, dude, every time I would hear that Slack notification, and I'm like, imagine if that was a Glock. Yeah, I mean, dude, I would have, yeah. Would have jumped just off something Just the office hot. environment. It's like Zoom, but in real life. That is fucking horrible. It's just always so bright, and it's always cold, and you're sitting at a desk, and you're, it's just, and you're praying that you have to shit. Like, praying for a bathroom break. So if you had, like, a quote-unquote real job, would you prefer the office or working from home? Uh, maybe a mix. Because I like seeing people. Yeah. I just don't like... Well, I don't like wasting time now, but back when I had a job, I might not have minded it, you know? It's like an hour drive to work, a 30-minute drive to work, whatever. It's like, now that annoys me. Somebody's like, oh, you have a meeting in Hollywood. Great, hour drive. Fuck yeah. Put a fucking M16 in my anus cavity. Yeah, pull the trigger. <laughs> like, shit like that... Um, but like, I love working from home now, but like if I'm home all day and I don't do stand up that night, I'm like, do I still exist? I know, dude. Do people even like, that's yeah. why I, I kind of like, like where you live in, um, I'll dox you shortly here, District, <laughs> but like, I like that you can look outside your window and be like, oh, I'm in the city. Things are happening. Y- yeah. Yeah. That's what I love about New York. We're moving. No, oh. but the, no, <laughs> but the, the, even if you work from home all day, you look out of a window and it's still got that little buzz. Yeah, the little buzz. Bro, I look out of a window, it's just a tree. Yeah, I can't do that. But it is, it's it's on the it's weekends. Nice. Yeah, on the weekends, it's nice. it's nice. It's nice. On a Tuesday at 4 p.m., I go, what's happening? 
Yeah, a Tuesday at 4 p.m. I can go walk, get a coffee, a lot of people run around. But I will say, you know, maybe 2 p.m. on a Saturday when I want some peace and quiet, yeah. there's a homeless man yelling at a bird scooter. So, you know, good oh, pluses trades. and minuses, pluses and minuses. Yeah, this trades. Know? I, I get when Zuckerberg's like, I'm building a bunker in Hawaii, checks out. I get it. Dude, I sat next to a guy on an airplane that literally was telling me that he was starting a school slash a bunker. He was literally school slash bunker? Dog, he was literally telling me that he all he's missing at the school, like he's building it right now, all he's missing is like an, am, an ammunition factory. A school? Yeah. Like what like, age? Like an actual school. Why? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. He was and saying, how did you get into this conversation? Yeah, I don't, he started talking to me. Didn't I already bring this up on the last one? Sort, sort of. of. Yes. Huh? Sort of. Sort of, yeah. You did? Kind of. A little bit. Yeah. But, but that, that was, that was a gentleman. He literally was just talking to me about how he was going to start a school and then how all he was missing was uh, an ammunition factory. And he's going to figure that out. Is it's this just, a bit? It's not a bit. I don't get it. I think when you make enough money, you say, how do I add value to my life? And then you go, oh, I'll start a school and I'll teach the right stuff because the schooling, the education system now is not Where were you it's failing from? the kids. and uh, Dallas? Checks out. Dallas, I think. Is that Dallas? Whatever. It doesn't matter. But yeah, Dallas. Dallas to uh, LA. Yeah. And I was like, cool. I mean, there's so much parts of it that I was like, okay, sounds good. But I just would never, you know what it is? He was, he was talking to me. Essentially, he was like, I, I just said, I was like, oh, if within two sentences, he was like, where, where do you stand politically? <laughs> literally, literally. And I was like, and I was like, dude, truth be told, man, I don't. I don't even dip my toe in that world. I don't watch news. It's He's doing crowd work on you? A hundred percent, dude. He asked me where I was from. I punched him in the face. <laughs> but he goes, uh, but yeah, I was like, I just don't. I don't, it stressed me out. I stopped watching news in like 2020. I'm done. I don't know what's happening. And he was like, he's just that type of person that's like, and I'm not shitting on him, but he's the type of person that like feels like he can make a difference, which mm -hmm. is like cool. But, and again, I'm not shitting on him, but there's a, there's an arrogance to that. I yeah. can picture the size of the belt buckle this guy had on. He was dressed pretty cool. Like, oh, really? Yeah. But there, but and again, I'm not shitting on, but there's a sense of arrogance that because in my head, I'm like, I can't make a fucking difference. I mean, talk about feet and cum all day. What am I going to build a fucking school? And I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell people what to do. This is insane. Yeah. It's, a, it's insane. And, you're, and then you got to build a power grid and a school and get fucking priests in there or teach. I mean, jerk off and eat a fucking Uncrustables. The world's ending in 17 years. How, how, how long do you think we got? 48. You think so? Hours. <laughs> 48 years. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're at a good pace right now. I think we're at a good pace to end it or just a good pace? I, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I don't like to think about that stuff. I don't either. I just walk around day to day just like in my own little world. And yeah. I just go, ooh, my little TikTok reviews, my little YouTube views. Yeah. And then there's like a I real like issue. It. And then I'm like, ah, there's, oof, we're just on a floating rock. I know. Isn't that crazy? You know what trips me out? And I've said this before and I don't give a fuck. Uh, Sorry. The world is spinning right now. Spinning. And I can't think about it because it fucking freaks me out. And we're, and we're doing numbers. Like, we keep going. Clock it. And we're doing numbers. And that's how it, how does time work? How does your body know? It's like, oh, I'm a year older. So we're constantly just dying. That's crazy. A baby comes out of a pussy brand new out the goddamn womb. I'm talking about like a billion Not a more, mile on it. Not a mile on it. Fresh Car out the facts, lot. Zero, right? It's dying. Yeah. It's dying. <laughs> you plant a flower and you go, oh, it's the new flower. As it's coming, it's dying. Yeah, but that's sad. It's sad as fuck. I don't think like that. I know you shouldn't. I can't. It's sad. Yeah. But we're You're thinking how I think, like, I haven't done Molly a lot, but it, like years ago I did. That's how I would thought, like, the next day after. It was like very, like, we're just on a planet and a rock and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But also, but it's, it can be negative, but also can be positive. Because it's like, oh, we're dying. Let's do something. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah. No, I hear you. You know, it's like yeah, we're I dying. Don't... Why are we freaking out about fucking YouTube short numbers? Let's go to the let's go to the fucking Denver mountains and yeah. see if I'm gay or not. <laughs> <laughs> and you have been wanting to do that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God damn. 
God damn. damn. I mean, every like rich person <laughs> ever who turns like 55, when whenever they give advice to younger people, they're like, you know what, man? Just travel. That just travel. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but Shut here's up. the thing. I do travel. Mid. It's not even mid. It's fucking horrible. No, because here's here's the thing. People would travel to LA and be like, this is fine. It's fine. There's certain places. The problem is whenever I travel, and I think when you travel, we go to these big cities, whether it's for vacation or stand-up, you're still in a city. Yeah, same time. I want to go where, like, some place where you're, like, a rainforest. Not cafe, but, like, a rainforest. Like, yeah. you know, you're scrolling through Instagram Reels, and it's, like, the most scenic thing, Tahiti. It's, like, that's what I need to do for vacation. Yeah, but, but I, I buy Ben. You go to Costa Rica. Like, ooh, look at the... I don't, Oh, the frog's green. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you don't like if, it? No, because if it, touch, it touches Wi-Fi, it's gay. It's not like Jack. <laughs> I was I hope Jack. I thought Jack was getting fired up. Um, um, yeah, I just like I want to go and see something that just looks different. Because when I go to a city, like I don't know. I know. I hear you. I hear you. Have you ever? Have you been anywhere like in the world what? where you're like, wow, this is really cool? It's like for like three seconds. Yeah. And then it I'm does like, go by quick. And then I'm like, and then that whole thing washes over, and I'm like, everyone's like, oh my god, you can see the bottom of the ocean, and you go, wow, that's really cool. Give me a head. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I wish it last. Well, the hard part is, uh, I mean, it's like you travel 16 hours to go to the other side of the world to yeah. see this beautiful view. You're exhausted. You're jet lagged, and you're like, oh, the northern lights, or I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing shit because I'm sleep deprived. I'm so tired. But like, I, I mean, dude, the, the day teleporting becomes a thing. Let me teleport to the northern lights. That's something that I've always wanted to see. Yeah. I don't know when it is. I don't know where you got to go for it. Where is it? North Switzerland, Sweden, Zurich. Is it in Zurich? Zurich's gorgeous. Wait, no. We fucked up not going. We did fuck we did. up. Yeah. Northern lights. Northern lights. North uh, Greenland. Camel lights. Anywhere. In Greenland, North. right? Iceland. Greenland. Iceland. Can somebody use Google? <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of tabs open. I can try to figure this out. That would have been. I was gonna thinking of thinking earlier. I was like, I'm gonna say fuck you and quit and walk out at some point. That would have been the. That time. would have been it, dude. No. Please don't um, ever do that. Aurora Borealis. Shut That's the, the fuck up. <laughs> what did you just shut, name my daughter? Shut, shut the fuck That's up. That's like the garden thing you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Arbitrarium. Ar Arboretum. <laughs> dude, some, what did you just say to me? The Aurora Borealis. Shut up. It sounds. This is though. crazy. Nobody told that fucking idiot to name it that. What does it mean? It might mean something. It might mean something no, cool. Oh, gives a shit. It might be a head in French. <laughs> it means light of dawn. What the hell does that mean? Light of dawn. What is dawn? Dawn That's and like, dust. We got to go back to that. Shut yeah. it. Pull up this dawn. Ooh, all right. Ooh. She just pulls up with fucking soap. Is dawn? <laughs> Dawn's the morning. Oh, never mind. Dusk is the like that's oh, freaky dude, hours. Dig yeah. down in the dusk. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> dusk, dude, dude. That's that's like a book right there. That you read that in seventh grade. Oh, why do we have to read out loud? Why you the <laughs> fuck did you do that to me, Mrs. Ringle? First of all, here's the thing too. You did popcorn reading my ass right, and I start reading, I start stuttering, and then everyone starts making fun of me. I'm a teacher's <laughs> pissed. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's your fucking job to teach me how to read, you bitch. <laughs> She's going on autopilot. You know words better than I do. You do it. I don't understand. The worst is when you didn't know where you were going. Oh, you dude. You had no idea where you were in the book. <laughs> and she would call on you. Yeah, he's not, yeah, every day for Jack. But she'd be like, Trevor? And he'd be like, Ugh. and then they'd have to cue you in with where they'd be like, exubitary? The word is exubit. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. I, I don't know where I'm at. And when the fuck am I ever going to have to do this in life? I just want to zoom back to third grade. They pick me and I raise my hand and go, hey, listen, Miss Peters, when am I ever going to have to do this in life? I'm going to yell about feet and come on stage. Where That's is it. that in this school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't see that I would have in loved Macbeth. To, I would have loved to see. I would I, I would love to shadow myself being in like seventh grade again. Just seeing like what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. Like, like I, I can tell you. Horned up. <laughs> I remember being bricked up in Miss Goth's English class. Goth? Goth. Ooh, Ooh goth. Yeah. Groth, groth. She was the one I saw buying alcohol at CVS one morning. Uh, it, morning? Morning? No, it wasn't morning. It was after, it was after <laughs> school. On a, Shit. No, but maybe. After <laughs> school on a Friday, she's buying a handle of, uh, what's the red? Smirnoff? Yeah. Giant glass handle. No flavor. Just raw dog and Smirnoff as an English teacher. Oh, dude, she's getting fucking pounded down yeah, by the her only fucking letters gold retriever. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the Yeah, she saw us and then turned around immediately. Yeah. Yeah. English yeah. teacher throwing back Svedka, trying to spell out one word, D-U-I. 
did not think you would say that. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't. Uh, what were we talking about? Well, traveling. But I had a question. Have you guys heard of Paris syndrome? Uh, Paris syndrome? Yeah. What's that? It's no. a very specific ailment that happens to some amount of Japanese tourists to France every year. About 20, it happens to about 20 people every year. And what happens is that they go to Paris and they have the imagery in their head of what Paris is going to be like, what the Eiffel Tower looks like in okay. the pictures and movies they've seen. Yeah. And then they get there and they are so like psychologically broken by the reality of what Paris actually yeah, looks refund. like. Yeah, refund. Yeah, that they that they go into like uh like shock. They go they have to go be hospitalized. Bro, what? I feel the way about well, well hospitalized is crazy. I feel the way about Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. I don't know why that took so much for me to get that <laughs> it out. Was like so much you, you almost broke down there. Yeah, but like you that land in good. Hollywood Boulevard, you go there on a Saturday and you see all the like tourists walking around, you're like, Yeah, yeah there's better places to be. Yeah. The same way I feel about if you take a girl like five five dates in, you get some head and you're like Pear syndrome. <laughs> Hospital. Um, that's but, uh, that's a little extreme. How yeah, many? There's a there's a hot, 24 hour hotline at the Japanese embassy you can call if you're like your family members experiencing Pear syndrome. I wonder if anyone's oh, called if they just got Eiffel Tower. Hold for applause break. Good, good, hold good. on, hold on, hold on. But is it only? Is it only Japanese? So it only happens with Japanese people specifically why? because there's. Okay, it is thought that a combination of factors explains why it's almost exclusively Japanese people. It's the the picture of perfection in their culture, like their pop culture, from like what they've seen of Paris. They've okay. only seen like this, by and large, and especially like I think it's probably less of this now because there's so much more. There's TikTok now and shit, right? Yeah, but like, yeah. uh, but that shock. It's just culture shock. You're I've expecting those, this. Thing. Have you seen those videos on Instagram? It's like the. It's like the touring spot versus reality. Oh, I love those. Instagram versus reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but a lot of them are like really big tourist spots. And it's like maybe they film that shot at like 6 a.m. when nobody's there. Mm -hmm. And then in reality, it's just like flooded with kids and it looks like shit. And it, it yeah, that is the epitome of travel. I don't get people who traveled somewhere and they're like, I can move here. Well, actually, I do. I take that back. New York, I can move there. Uh, no. Uh, uh, but, 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 October. But, but no. <laughs> but there is places where... I'm there and I go, this is cool, but like, I just couldn't just leave everything that I have right now. Some people are just so free. They're just like, I'm going to Italy for six months. What? For what? How? I just, it doesn't, it doesn't, I've just talked about it a million times. It doesn't, it doesn't make me feel like how other people feel. And I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm freaking jealous. I want to go to like Bora Bora. That, like, I need to go to a place where to fully disconnect where it's like, I don't know. If I go to New York, I'm still fucking locked in. Oh, I yeah. need to like, I need to go to a place where I'm like, hey, I need to make a phone call. And they're like, okay, here's a coconut. And I go, okay. Yeah, they go, drink it and shut up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Like, I I literally, I, I talked to my therapist like five days ago. And like, we got down to the point where it's just like, I am fucking burnt to the ground. Yeah. I'm, dude, in June, I'm taking two weeks off. And obviously, I'm we're going to do the fucking podcast. But like, that's all. I'm Like, I'm I'm like going to take two weeks off. Yeah. Like, and just do nothing? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Zero stand up. I might like. I might do like a staycation, it's like in not far away, but like whatever, yeah, yeah. and just yeah, do yeah. nothing. And like, obviously, like you know, I'll stay in contact with you guys. But like, I'm gonna turn my phone off. I'm like, I'm gonna no schedule. Spots. Bro's going monk mode. No, for real. And then, and then I, I here, here's the <laughs> monk mode. Here's the interesting thing. And I don't know if I fully want to do this, but I might no like, jerk off. No, that's crazy. But mm -hmm. I might, I might like have someone else like even just like post for me. So, so I don't have to do like I'm not, not crazy at all. It's just very go, go like I'm just nothing. Dude, I know people that have they don't post for themselves now because they're just so like the numbers. I need to do this. This is the thought I had. I was gonna get a separate phone and a different phone number. Yeah. And it's like one has social media, one doesn't. Yeah. The amount of times that I look at social media is not good. No. I post and I refer to refer. But like imagine if you had a phone with no social media. I'd be like fucking I'd, I'd be I'll be like a boomer. I'll be playing crossword puzzles. Yeah, I've I've actually thought about this too because I write in my phone and I like walk around my neighborhood, and, but I still find myself. I'm walking. I'll have a thought. I'll write it down. I'll go, be going over a bit, and then all of a sudden, my brain goes to Instagram, and then I'm on Instagram. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck am I doing? Well, it's just like muscle memory. It's like I go to pee and I start looking at Instagram. Dude, that is. I can't tell you how disgusting I feel that every single time, dude. I go to the bathroom. I go to pee uh, in the airport. Phones out as I'm peeing. Pee in my house. Shit in my house. Phones always out. What am I doing? Right. Where Where do you think you're at uh, screen time this week? This week, six hours. Yeah, I'm about six hours. I got like notification like six hours and something like over over six hours. That's 
terrible. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then I, because it, it also doesn't count laptop time, or TV time, whatever. You know what right. I mean? So then I look at the number sometimes I'm like, fuck, does that mean? What percent of my day is not looking at a screen? Yeah. Not- guys, did you guys hear about the boring phone? No, but I'm going to get it. What is this? It's a, I mean, this is just, it's a branded thing, but it's basically, they've created a, uh, a dumb phone designed to prevent young adults from scrolling on smartphones. So it's just like, this is the phone. It looks like that, a page at Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. <laughs> so the only thing it does is calls, texts, and I think it has email and shit. We're just going, no, because even email. You don't want even, email either? Yeah, but, but any notification, it just. You could just get an iPod Touch for $3 and just fucking, you know what I mean? And just have whatever yeah. on it. Yeah, but Why is there Heineken, Heineken on it? it? They, they, they took all the social media away, so Heineken makes you want to drink. This is for alcoholics. Heineken is trying to get you back on the booze. Yeah, it feels like the better pitch here would be like if you get wasted, like you can't go fucking send risky DMs. Oh, on sure. Story, I, you know? I could see that. Um, but yeah, I think it's, really that, not, it's not a bad idea, though. A man. lot of people, I think, relate to that feeling where the fucking screen time is just like crazy up. I'd just be chronically online some days. Oh, I, I, I'm I, dumb. I understand because even with the iPad, Pod Touch, or the fuck it's called, you, you still, still have. you still have like a screen. This is like almost like a screenless phone. Yeah, yeah it's got like a bullshit screen. You know what some I mean? Some people there's make their, yeah. I don't know, I think we're talking, I don't know, but some people make, there's a black and white that you can yeah. make your phone just so it doesn't look as appealing. And dude, I did that for probably two days. I'm telling you, bro, it fucking works. And then what, you just went back? It, yeah. Yeah, because you got to well, check the color on a clip or something. Correct. And, yeah, yeah. That's, that's literally exactly what happened. Well, yeah. did, did you watch porn in black and white? I don't even think I watched porn. Dude, it's, have you tried, it, it does not make, you do not want to look at your screen. It's yeah. not inviting at all. You do it? Yeah. Dude, like all, everything, it's colored to, it's wired to your brain to make you, like the red notifications, all that kind of shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, you got to think, every one of these apps is specifically designed to try to keep you on it as yeah. long as possible. Yeah. Like it's like, uh, a, yeah. it's the same technology that they use. It's a fucking casino game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the, yeah. the sounds, the, the whole Remember thing. Remember when Instagram used to be like, you've scrolled through all your posts. You're all caught up. Yeah. Those dumbasses. Yeah. They could have been fucking us over for years, decades. Decades, dude. So yeah, you're going to take a two week break. Oh yeah, I like I'm I'm like really yeah. really excited, and I and I think you're gonna go through a range of emotions. The first two days you're gonna be like itching, you're gonna be antsy, you're gonna want to do yeah. shit, and then yeah. you're gonna settle in, and you're gonna find this sweet spot, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, dude, I just like I just want to wake up. And you know what's up. gonna happen? You're gonna walk into a coffee shop, and they're about to be closed, and they go, "We don't care," and you go, "But I'm the guy on the internet." They go, "You're not on the internet." Oh fuck, who are you? Oh god, and then the A24 screen plays. <laughs> But I, oh, and the title is, but I'm the guy on the internet. Fuck. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. It's going to be great. To, like, because, I, dude, I used to, I used to wake up, man. I used to go to a coffee shop. I used to drink a coffee, write in my fucking journal, read. I don't do any of that now. I don't even know how to read anymore. Write? How do you use a fucking pencil? What's happening? That's what porn looks like in black and white? Stupid. <laughs> it's still kind of hot. No, it's not. Look how much hotter that is. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's dumb as shit. <laughs> Speaking of black and white, Taylor Swift put out a music video. She dropped a new album. And what do you Taylor call it? Swift? Who's Taylor Swift? She's that singing... Nope. You that know singing it. woman. Oh. Oh, yep. so you do know her. I did. I do. Yep. I think I she's did. really talented. Yeah, yeah, she, she has a music video with Post Malone. The song's actually really good. Oh, really? Wait, what, what does it say about her album? Uh, Taylor Swift got 500 songs about her ex leaving, but not one song about sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Curious. Solid ratio. <laughs> hold on, hold on. 500 songs about what? About, le- about her ex leaving, but not one song about sucking dick. They're making a point, you know? Maybe, does Taylor Swift not suck dick? Oh, facts. I don't think she, I don't know. Is that I think, gonna, go ahead. Is this going to be a, is that a weird, like, is, I don't know. If I was that rich, I wouldn't. Honestly, fucking great point. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I'm worth almost, I'm, what's your net worth? If I'm, if I'm up there worth a billion, and some yeah. guy's like, yeah, you mind just like, give me a little head. I'm like, I do mind. Yeah, I do mind. Suck also, my clap yeah. my hands, and then my 25-year-old intern from ASU walks in. She goes, right here, you're trying to... <laughs> I'm not. I don't know. I'm not. You, because if I, dude, do you think Beyonce gives head? She gets head and that's it. I, I honestly think Taylor Swift and Travis probably have this whole other life that nobody even knows about. And it's probably awesome. They they're pro- not dating. Uh, yeah, they are. No, they're not. But Michael, they're, they're in not. videos together. Oh, they go to, but they go to they dinner. They cheat videos. But the, the, the thing is, if the football season's over, so why, did, why, why would they keep dragging it out? Because it's good for both of their careers. 
Yeah, but like, because the moment is that, it good yeah. for her career? Yes, it is because they're gonna break up at some point, and then she can write twenty eight more albums. Not about and sucking. The, correct. Do you know what I mean? It's it's all good, man. It's all it's and it's fine. I don't hate it, but it's fake. Uh, sc scroll down real quick. How many? Views. We've got 31 mil on this video two days ago. Some light. Uh, the people. I, I haven't heard it. Can I hear it? Yeah, let's play a little really bit. Really good. Yep. Post one. We'll have to dub in some copyright free stuff for yeah. music purposes. That's hot. It sounds like Lotta, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, kind of boring. I, I, I'm, I'm so happy, and I, I, this is not me hating on this lady. Pause it. This is. I'm and I and I love like melodic shit. This is bo like this boring. is this is boring like the phone we just saw. <laughs> it uh, like this is my iPhone when you take the fucking color off. I have a take about her. I think that she's just she's she's the royal family. She's uh <laughs> she's Prince Harry or whatever and and uh Meghan Markle. Like people care now because she's as famous as she is. I don't think like this is not like Bro, if like you're like a girl you went to college with, put this I on was, SoundCloud. Dude, I was just fucking thinking about. It. I swear to God, I was just yeah. thinking. I was like, I was like, if this is not Taylor Swift or Post Malone, is this good? Mm. It, it and it and it's 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 not. I I, I thought it was peaceful. I it don't is, know. I, peaceful, I don't know if I'd be like be like this is at my everything. No, it's it. I mean, it's not. And I I, I listen. Again, zero hate on these people. I think both of them are actually super talented. I like both of them, but this is. This it's not bad. It's just like this. Uh, is what's what, the name? Fortnite? <laughs> no, this the name is the Calm app. How do, how do we get there? Oh, Why it's called it? Fortnite. Look at it. How the fuck do I play this game? <laughs> uh, and not, yeah, not tonight. For, they, she has hits, you know. But this song, I is, thought it was peaceful. I'm trying to think of the situation where I'd be playing that right before you kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> So I was gonna say, like, if I had just gone through a breakup and I was looking out of a window on a plane and this was playing, I'd be like, yeah. And for the fuck, like it is catchy, but it's not like I'm like, if I go to a concert, I'm like, they better play it. Yeah. You know, it, it's like, all right. It makes my head do this. Yeah. 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 This is where you go, Alexa, like right before you go to sleep. Yeah. It feels like, uh, yeah, yeah, if your foot was asleep, but your brain could hear it. <laughs> Say yes. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not. It, it took me a bit, a bit, but I'm. I'm in. God damn. God damn. If you guys could choose what song was playing while you died, not that you're you're not a, an eleven years old, but you you get to choose what song plays while you leave this plane of existence. What would it be? Would you go hype? Would you go sad? Would you go nostalgic? That's a great question. Um, I would go. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Are there other people around to hear it, or is this just you? No, it's other people. Okay. I would, I would, I would stand, I would stand on top of a Marriott Marquis, and like everyone's having, dirt. it's like, it's like maybe twelve ones. People are sitting on brunch Sunday. Uh -huh. Oh, people are having so much fun, and then I have a little fucking pill speaker, right? And I, who let the dogs out? Like too loud, and everyone's like, what the fuck? And who let the dogs out? And then I stand. Right on the right on the top of the fucking ledge. I'm not facing anybody, yeah. and people are just kind of noticing what is this guy doing. And I turn to face one, and right when the hook goes, who let the dog? And I cut it, and I go, fuck you! <laughs> and I just jump off. And as I'm jumping off, I point to one person. I go, this is your fault. <laughs> and then I hit, and then I hit like a Buick on the way down. And that person forever will be like, do I even know this person? <laughs> and I can't believe this is my fault. And every time they hear the Baja man, they're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, even that Baja burritos, Baja blast, yeah. anything Baja. Um, I'm trying to think, because I think there's two answers. There's the funny answer, which would be Crazy Frog. <laughs> 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 and then I think there's one that's like just like a song that you generally like, or yeah. like maybe it's like Carlos Santana. I would go off in a riff. That's pretty good. You know, uh, like, what about what about the uh, the Miguel song, uh, Pussy is Mine? I would I would go off on that. I don't know. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I, love it. I thought I thought I knew it. Can you play a little bit of it? This is really funny to clear yourself on this. Here, here, here. And then you just jump and hang yourself from a chandelier. <laughs> and like, oh my god! It's such a slow song. I don't know if they get the full sentence out before you did anything <laughs> rational. <laughs> you're like, tell me that you're like about to hit the ground. You're like, say it. <laughs> Pussy is mine. What is he gonna say? Dude, right when you blow your head off, right, right as pussy as mine is playing, it's so funny <laughs> to me. 
I think you have to choose sides. You have to think like, all right, if I, like if I on the off chance that like not off chance, like if heaven is real, I want to play some stuff that God's like, oh, he went out like f- with me on the mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, some yeah, yeah. That's pre- yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, guys, I think it's uh, time to get into stock talk. Unless you got more uh, Taylor Swift thoughts. The um, album has thirty one mm-hmm. songs. Thirty one songs on her new album. How did she? Thirty. Hold on. Didn't am I dumb? Didn't she just drop something? That's what. The, yeah. This like, is it. Yeah. yeah. But the, there wasn't there wasn't anything there like was a month ago. There was like a year and a half ago, I think. Yeah, but she did. Wow. Uh, she did like a, one of the surprise drops. This is a surprise drop. You should. Why don't you surprise drop the special? Because uh, I want people to watch it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Funny to do a surprise drop, and then people are like, "Yeah, you should have." Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna surprise drop a sex tape. Uh huh. That's all I got. <laughs> well, yeah, it's weird if you do like a a PR campaign for your sex tape. Yeah, hey, ladies and gentlemen, today's guest on Sip Socks, Michael Blasen. He's dropping a sex tape next Thursday. <laughs> Be so funny to like be like, oh my sex tape dropped, and it's clearly from my own Gmail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's you have your watermark from, on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When is it dropping? The I special. I don't know, man. Tell me. I don't know. I don't know. Ow, Glock, shoot him. Don't. Um. Um. All right, guys, we have a stock talk. Pussy is mine. Um. We have a submission today that comes from comes. Uh, Denise from. <laughs> Uh, Denise uh, wrote in and said, uh, fuck. Do you I think there's ever been a Dennis and Denise married? Oh, that'd be electric. Dennis? A Dennis marries a Denise. You ever think there's a dentist named Dennis? A Holy dentist named fuck. Dennis marries Denise. Dentist Dennis. Den- yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm you got to look at teeth all day. I can't believe a Dennis says I'm a doctor. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But don't they have the highest, like, uh... Suicide rate? Yeah. Yeah. Because nobody they can talk to talks back to them. All their coworkers are like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, how was spring break? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, first of all, I hate when a dentist talks to me. S- shut up. You know I can't talk. I'd be bored. Me? If I was a dentist, I'd be If like, I was a dentist, I'd just, I'd just put my fucking phone around on someone's forehead and watch Netflix as I'm playing. <laughs> What the hell is this? Oh, uh, this is what we wanted to see. Yeah, so this is from uh, Denise. She said, um, uh, oh. if this was your girlfriend, uh, would you be mad about this? Yep, here we What's go. What's happening? You'll see. Jesus what Christ. The fuck. What strip mall in the Inland Empire is this? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what? Wait, wait, this hey, is a restaurant? Uh, this is like Chippendales, but like yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. This, this is Penisberry. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hogart Land. <laughs> <laughs> Bros are piping it up dude, over. This is crazy. Dip and, dick bro. and dots. There we go. We got one. We got like three in there. Yeah. What? What? What is this? First of all, let me go. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? This place is called Severo? What, is, my what is their health rating? STD? <laughs> I mean, this is crazy, dude. What is this? It's, a, it's a, some kind of a... Where is it? Google where yeah. it is. Do they uh, Do they name their like, oh, flavors? Paris. Like, like oh, vagina, I... like vagina vanilla? You know? Uh-huh. <laughs> Columbia does everything right. Cocaine and this. <laughs> Good for them, dude. Oh, here it is. Severo Bar. I mean, more. Oh, more no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This isn't it either. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, it's the one right under. Uh, yeah, it's got to be that. One. Jack found one. Whoa. God, it looks like you're breaking to the Pentagon, but all we're trying to see is dick ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this first one. <laughs> what is he even making? <laughs> He's calm, dude. Uh, the van cakes? The veneer cakes? <laughs> oh, this is great. Hey! Pussy pastries. This is wild. That's a dick donut. That guy's hot. It's like Adam W. Yeah. Isn't it funny guys look this hot to make pancakes? I mean, it's crazy. I mean, just go in front of a goddamn photographer and make money. Yeah. They're, they're not like taking good care of this restaurant. You know what I mean? Like, they're not washing their hands. They're fucking. Restaurant? I don't this even know if that's not, food. Yeah, this is not FDA approved here. <laughs> 
Are you um, kidding me? There's fucking Badussi and a goddamn <laughs> chocolate chips. <laughs> Badussi and a cone. So yeah, if your girl was like, can we go to Severo for our first date or like for our anniversary? What do you say? I mean, let her have it. I'm yeah, cheating. I would, I would say yes. I'm tired, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> let her have it. I'm cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but like, sure. I mean, like, the not, problem sure. With the not sure. Not <laughs> sure. Let's, let's get real for a second. You don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You don't care. It's a problem if, if she if, takes the guy's number after. If you go, hey, man, do you want to go to Dave and Buster's or do you want to go here? No. And she goes there. And you have to go with her? Look, if we're going there, relationship's already on rocky terms. I ain't yeah, and that's mountains. rocky road terms. In all honesty... It depends where I'm at with my girl. If we're in a rocky place and we go there, it's gonna be weird. But if we're like super comfortable and like, like, have you ever been to a strip club with your girlfriend? It's yeah. fun as fuck. So like this, if we can laugh about it after, hilarious. And then maybe is, she'll do that to my ice cream cone. Yeah, it is funny, but she's wet. Good. Look at that man. Pre-game. But the, no, I'm, but the, the problem is you're pre-game, but she's not gonna be thinking about you. When you're giving your your fucking little Snickers mini snack size cock, when she's got an actual dick, um, I mean, I wouldn't be stoked together. But if we could laugh about it, it's like if she's texting a guy after. I don't, dude. I'm not jealous at all. I'm not. If if they look like that, no. You're on. Your, so you're on your June break. You're on your staycation. Yeah. The lady's like, oh my god, I saw this on TikTok. It's so funny. We have to go. Why, why do you want to go? It's just funny, Michael. Why it's not it? funny. I think it's, it's not funny. funny because imagine if I pitch that to you. If I was like, hey, man, I'd love to go to Hooters. Oh it's, it's crazy, man. It's so, it's so funny when they wow. put their tits on your face. Ha, 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 You really do need a vacation. I do need a vacation. So you don't want to go? No. I just want to spend my time with you. Why do I have to go to somewhere else? God. What's wrong? I just want... It's, it's like a joke. I just wanted to see No, no, no. I, I, I understand the funny, but like... <laughs> like <laughs> I understand the funny, but I just want to spend time with you. Oh. I love you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh? Yeah. oh? You don't have right, anything to say back to me? I just, I don't know. Like, you don't know? I just feel like if somebody loved me, that they, they would trust me that they know I'm not going to bang a guy. Oh, no, I do over trust a coochie you. coochie crepe. It's just, it's just a, I do trust you. I just don't understand it's why you It's just really insecure it. that you're doing that. Then I guess I'm insecure. But I'm insecure because I love you. I'm insecure because I, I want to be with you the rest of my life. And I just I don't know if I want to be with someone who is yearning to go get dick down by fucking Dominic. That's fair. Thank you. I'm gonna go in your sleep. I know you are. And I've been cheating on you for three years. <laughs> um, wild place to go, but fun. Yeah. I would want to go with my boys. When I'm at, when I'm at bachelor party, I'm going there. Can you imagine? I was like, you guys want to go to Columbia? And I was like, yeah, cocaine. And I was like, I just want to go here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. Yeah. Jack would be so happy. That would be great. Um, all right, guys. It's time for a secret sock. Anonymous submission. We actually have an update today from a, a previous ab anonymous submission. Oh, frick yeah. Um, I don't know if you remember. We had a we had a listener write in anonymously and say that they were struggling. Uh, they had racked up a bunch of credit card debt from their OnlyFans subscription. I do remember this. And they were working on paying it down. So we have an update. Uh, they say, credit card debt boy here. I paid down a little half of the original credit card oh, debt great. caused by the cam girls. Um, I think if I remember correctly, it was like around like, it was between five and $10,000. Yeah, it wasn't cheap. Yeah, it was, it was like a Mazda 626 amount. Uh -huh. uh, and <laughs> so he says, uh, then I discovered there's a brothel in Rocket my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I had 12 gr cam girls subscription. <laughs> Um, he said, uh, I discovered there's a brothel in my neighborhood though. And I started taking out cash advances to see, uh, one individual girl there. I see her once a week, $140 an hour. I only need like 20 or 30 minutes. Oh, actually 140 euros an hour. I think maybe makes a little more sense because brothel in the neighborhood. Europe, all right, maybe. All right. Um, I only need like 20 to 30 minutes to actually fuck her and come, but I like having some extra time after the fact to just lay around and chat with her about yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've definitely become emotionally attached, which sucks because it makes me spend more money um, also she has a boyfriend, but yep, that's the life update. My current credit card debt between three cards right now adds up to 5.5 K. So kids don't become a sex addict and maybe find yourself a girlfriend organically instead of trying to buy Did one. Did he say that the last girl he chats with has a boyfriend? Uh, yeah. Listen, <laughs> go ahead. You man. can't 
advertise you have a boyfriend. Dude, you know how friend zone you got to be during chat? If you're a cam girl, you have to be like, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, but it, it almost makes it more hot. Okay. She like has a boyfriend. She's mm. like, I do have a boyfriend, but like you're so hot. Like I don't know if I. Can. Oh, if she's writing hot things back to me. Sure. Oh yeah. But if she's just like writing back, like leave me alone. I have a boyfriend. Oh no, but some guys <laughs> like, like that. Twenty. Some guys like leave me alone. You're a pig, and some guy goes say it again. I'll come. What is that? I don't know. America. Yeah. Isn't that funny? You just have a choice. That's it. I like, think. It um, go ahead. I was. I think it would be really funny to see you get fin domed for a week. Like have your girlfriend do, be a fin dom. No. Fin dom? Have you heard of this? Financial Financial dom. domination. No so, uh, what does that mean? So the lady uh, uh, t takes over all your money, like takes over your bank account and all your shit. You mean a wife? <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Um, but she yeah, takes over your money and spends it and just like- Spends it like, and you have to ask her for yeah, like- Yeah, I just it, put 91 octane in your prince. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, and it's like a, you know, you'll be like, oh, I really need to come. And she's like, all right, well, I'm going to take $1,000 out of your checking account if you want to come right now. So Not if you want to jerk off and you're like, yeah, I really want to. And she's like, okay, I just made the transfer. What the hell? Yeah. No. This is stupid. <laughs> I mean, that's really, really dumb. So fucking, like, if you are- I spent okay. six days in Toledo. And now I gotta ask you for money. <laughs> I think, but there, I've met OnlyFans girls who are like showing me their messages. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. There's this girl showed me one, and this guy would blow up her phone and be like, "I want you to drain my balls in my bank account." Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, post nut regret and you're broke. Holy shit! Yeah, I was kidding. I think I think he gets more hard. Like it's a, a right, but, but but then she would show me a photo of this guy. It looks like a normal guy, just a normal guy you see at a time in Bahama. That's not a normal guy. <laughs> But like, I want you to drain my bank account. No. What? I'd rather you punch my kid in the face. Dude, do you know how well you have to be to come losing money? That's a, a date. <laughs> right, but like, I'm talking, they're like spending like thousands of dollars. Like thousands of dollars. It's wild. I mean, listen, I don't want to king shame, do your thing, but I, I mean, dude, I can't, no. I get angry if they fucking upcharge me on onion rings. And imagine my my girl being like, hey, oh, do you want... Yeah, fin dom for you would be like, I accidentally added oat milk to my latte. And you're like, that's an extra dollar. Furious. <laughs> I mean, literally, I, I don't know what's... My, I don't think I'll ever stop my brain. Furious. You're a fin dom to yourself. I, oh, dude, Whoa. I am. I beat, my, I beat my own ass. Yeah. Yeah. Like, upgrade that flight seat ticket, you little fucking whore. You don't deserve it. Oh, you don't fucking know. Oh, what, you want a meal on the flight? You fucking idiot. You unfunny bitch. Dude, if you could record what my head says to myself after an average set, everyone here will cry. Oh. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Have one of those recently, and you're in the car like, oh my God, you fucking son. Yeah. And you're like, oh, oh, me? Oh, me. Oh, I, yeah, I, oh, yeah, I deserve to be on stage. You fucking idiot. Go back to Maryland, eat some crabs, you bitch. Fuck the pillow when you're eight years old. You should just stay in the pillow, you fucking. Go ahead, what do you think? I just want, let me put this on tape, you know, and I can text it to you anytime you're having a bad set. You guys are two of the funniest people I've ever met, and you both deserve all the success that you have. Thank you. But you know what's That's funny? Really nice. I had a set where it was like, I actually want to talk about it on the Patreon. It's like, I did this private gig. Mm -hmm. Front row, saw... front row, yeah. D Wade. I mean, Whoa. it's stacked. Everybody in that bitch famous. I want to talk about it on Patreon. Uh, the company's super dope. This brand Jeter's fucking awesome. Um, I'll talk about it, you know. But I was in my, I was so in my head after the set. And then afterwards, you go to Laugh Factory and it's like the best set in the world. Yeah. I mean, like at, at one point I wanted to stop and be like, so who carries me out of here on the stretcher? Yeah. Do we go straight to Netflix? Yeah. And, and how many Crackle? specials do I sign? 12? Yeah. Someone bring this to Sony. Yeah, and Sony, bring it to Bezos. Give me an island. November 14th. There you go. Got it. I'm a Gemini. No. Um, thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Dude, you know what my uh, my girlfriend did recently, which was awesome, and then we can get the heck out of here? So I, uh, whatever, like a month ago or some shit, I, I, I was on the road, and I called her. It was after like just a great two shows, man, just like, New stuff was working, blah, blah, blah. She's like, you know what I want you to do? I want you, when we get off the phone, I want you to voice memo this. Talk to yourself when you're having a bad set. Talk to yourself as if you're having oh, a yeah, bad yeah, set. Yeah. Record it and send it to me. And I was like- Talk to yourself as if you're having a bad set? Well, yeah, so, in, so when you're in, I just had a good set mind frame. Talk to 
the future self as if you're having a bad day. So, for example. Oh, like, oh, oh so, so, so positive Michael be like, hey, man. Correct. Think about how great Toledo was. Think about that everything's good. Like you are, like you are funny. Like blah 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 blah. Right. Like when you're having a bad set. Right. Or play, you know whatever. So a couple weeks later, I you know I came back from some fucking show, some local shit, and it was like fine. Right. And I was just like, I don't know, man. I was just like not feeling great. And she goes, she goes, oh shit. She played it for me, dude. It was the biggest. Like, it made me cry to be honest. It was the biggest. Mind fuck of my life. Yeah. Like I've, I mean, obviously I've never done it to myself before. It was crazy. I was like listening to a different person. Yeah. And it was like this weird feeling of like, I was like the way I was feeling, I was disappointing that version of myself, like the true version of myself. Cause I feel like when we have good sets and we're feeling good, like that's the true version of ourselves. Like when we're negative, like that's not, that's not innately who we are. Right. Mm. But it's like you get down there because it's just like the, the nature of the business. But it was it was wild, bro. So like I really like encourage you if you want to do that to do that, because it's like it's it was one of the most eye opening experience that I ever had. It was dude, it was it was crazy. And it was just I, I like learned a lot just in that moment about like it is so stark between like it was like I was like bipolar. It was like it was so weird. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so like if you ever have like one of those laugh factor sets again, which obviously you will, like encourage you, I don't know, just to like record yourself and talk to yourself as if you're having a bad set. It's yeah, it's dude, it's, a good it's, idea. it's fucking I try to do that sometimes with like photos. You know? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, like look at a photo if I'm feeling like down. I'll be oh, like, oh, yeah. look at how cool this venue was. Look at how big look at how many people are in the crowd. Yeah. Something about a voice feels more real. Oh, photo, dude. I I stare at a photo, I'm like, was this even me? <clears throat> well, well, what I do is I look at a I'll I'll, I'll do that too. But I will, I'll still downplay myself. I'll be like, not, I, this is, this is so negative. I apologize. But like, I'm like, oh, why, why are all these people here? I fucking tricked them all. Blah, blah, blah. Like I can do that to myself. Yeah. Or you'll find the one person in the crowd. Like in my kitchen, Correct. I have the special hanging up at the very Such a end. Cool when, photo, yeah. yeah. There's like all the lights on it. And I look at it. My face immediately gravitates towards like one guy in like the back right who's like, just dead face in yeah. it. Yeah. And he probably didn't know the picture. Oh, yeah. 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 You guys fucking geeked up off a of whip it, you know? Yeah, you don't know. Um, but it is, dude, it is. But, but yeah, no, I hear you. Dude, when, you, great. when you hear yourself, dude, it is like, I can't even really describe it. And I, I I hope you have great sets for the rest of your life. But if you ever, I would have a great set, record it. And then if you ever are feeling a certain way, holy shit, listen, dude, it's, yeah. it's, I'm telling you, it's like this, it's a weird time capsule feeling. Well, we, even, uh, it just, it reads more authentic, I think. Because I have on my phone somewhere is a video and somewhere is something. There's a video in like 2017 when I got my first hotel room for doing a stand-up gig. Oh, cool. And it was my first like road gig. Yeah. And I was like, I filmed it. I was like, yo, I got my own fucking hotel just for doing stand-up, paid for just yeah. for stand-up. Oh, cool. I got to find it. But like the emotion and the yeah. smile behind it is like so genuine and real. I think that it's like, look at where that like stemmed from, look at where it came from. Yeah, yeah. And then I have somewhere something that's either a video or a voicemail. I forget which one, but it's kind of like in that vein that you're talking. Yeah. It's uh, it's really fucking cool. Yeah, man. It's like you, you know. I think at some point, so sometimes you get kind of get lost in the in the sauce about how fucking cool this is, and it's it's hard. It's hard to travel. It's hard to build a new act. It's hard and blah blah blah. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, it was, yeah, dude. It broke me down like in a in a very positive way. But it like it's great. Oof, holy shit! Literally, literally listen to a different person. Um, so yeah, I mean, and that, and that everyone listening or watching that. Probably how long you guys was do, the man. voice memo? That you recorded. Oh, 20 seconds? Yeah. 25 seconds? Just kind of like affirming your yeah. beliefs. On it. Yeah, just affirming. I mean, it literally like, um, uh, yeah, it, it just just like when you, after a good set and the juices are flowing and the, and the new stuff you works. Feel great. And you feel great and you're like, and you're just like, yeah, the, the voice man. Like was meant to be. At a, yeah, a, yeah. A yeah. Like little. the paraphrase, it was just like, hey, like Michael, man, you're you're in. It was in Cleveland. I was like, hey, man, you're in Cleveland right now, and like you're you're trying this new like sit down thing, and it's really working, and and the the new thing about blah 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 is like really working, and and like maybe you're feeling down right now, man, but but I'm telling you, like you're supposed to be here, and and you 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 are talented, and blah blah, blah whatever whatever. Like literally, essentially, effectively, that was the me message. Yeah. And yeah, dude, it really. I mean, it gets me kind of like a little like choked up now, but it's it. It was so, it was so wild. Mm. Um, 
I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's it, cr- ugh, dude. It was crazy. Now, how would you feel if like uh, you watch a guy just completely bomb at flappers? Yeah, that, and then he comes back into the green room and he takes out his phone, he records a voicemail, and he's like, "Hey, future <laughs> me, I just want to tell you, you're probably listening to this after a bad set that is, time. That <laughs> is comedy. <laughs> That's comedy to a T. Uh, Everybody in comedy is delusional in the best way possible. Yeah, oh, a oh. green room is like twelve of the most chaotic people in Los Angeles, all just waiting in like. Like a pen, just wait, like a bunch of bulls, just to go yell about their cock for 12 minutes and then yeah. go back. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought you were going to go with, I thought it would be funny. If after you have a bad set, you go, this is why you're fucking not supposed to do this. You're listening to this, you don't fuck supposed to do this. <laughs> and then so you have a good set and you watch Calm that. Dom. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Calm Dom. Calm to Dom. Um, guys, I think that's a podcast. That is a podcast that we did. That is a podcast. That was so fun, guys. Ups and downs, lefts and rights, twists and turns. Um, Mr. Wallace, Mr. Blossom, I would love to thank everyone that comes to shows. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, that is it. Oh, friendly reminder, we have a Patreon. Four extra episodes, ad-free, drops every Friday. Um, so go to patreon.com backslash stiffsockspod. Or if you're an Apple user, it's just Stiff Socks Plus. Um, you know, scan your face. It'll populate in the feed. And that is that easy. So if you want some extra feed. content, go get that. And uh, come to Mr. Wallace, Mr. Boss on our tour. We love you guys. Till next Wednesday. Bye. Big old dick. I didn't forget.